Welcome to the American Paint Company. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jenny. And today we want to just introduce you to APC and tell you all about our all-natural chalk clay mineral-based paints and finishes. Um, they're all natural products made right here in the USA. And if you're pregnant, you have children, pets, there's no worries about using these products as there's no odor, no VOCs, and they're all natural. You can use them indoors, outdoors, anywhere that you prefer. Um, today, we're going to do a, a couple different things using our chalk clay mineral based paints and we're going to get started. First off, the one thing you want to make sure that you do is start with a clean piece of furniture. We can't stress that enough. Lots of times these pieces come in and they might have had pledge used on them or different kinds of a waxy finish. You need to clean them well and get that off of there. So to start, we're going to show you the way that we clean them. We at the American Paint Company use the Surface Prep and Brush Cleaner. It's an all natural product. Great smell. Smells wonderful. And you can mix it with some water, put it in a little spray bottle, mist down your piece of furniture, or like we just did, put some on a damp cloth and just wipe down your piece of furniture. This one we found in an old. Um, home that had been sitting around it got damp and wet in there so you can see some of the crud that was left on it. So this one I'm going to use a little bit stronger formula just to clean it off. Just wipe it off, get all that residue off of it, clean it, dries almost instantaneously. Once you're done you just let that dry and then you're ready to paint. One thing that's wonderful about this paint is it doesn't require any priming or sanding of your piece uh, with the exception of sometimes an old piece of furniture the tannins that were in the stains that they used to use will make your paint turn pinkish color sometimes a yellow color might come through and they, they, that bleeding that comes through is very easily remedied what you do is just take your top coat Give your whole piece a quick over with the top coat, let it dry, and then come right back on top of it and start painting. With the paint, today we're using home plate. It's just a nice creamy white color. And you wanna make sure when you are using the paint, give it a quick stir and then put some into a little dish to start. With it being an all natural paint, uh, you don't want to put your brush in the paint can or dip it in water and then dip it into the can of paint again because anything, any chemicals, any bacteria you get back in that can, once you seal it up, it will almost turn spoiled. It, you open it up in a week, two weeks, three weeks and it'll smell yucky. So make sure you put your paint into another little container to start working. and. The first coat you want to just put on, nice medium coat of paint. Uh, you can give it that. Today with us doing that classic finish, uh, nice even brush strokes. You can if you want a more uh, uh, a more, what do I want to say Michelle, a rustic finish. Yeah. You, can do hash marks, crisscrosses, uh, dab the paint up, make it thicker in spots. But today, we're just giving you that classic finish. And your finish is only as good as the brush you use. If you're using a, a chippy brush or something, you're not gonna get that nice smooth finish. So we really recommend you use a nice good quality brush that has smooth bristles. Doesn't matter if it's a natural brush or a synthetic, but that's, that is going to create the finish that you get on your completed piece. So after you use one coat, again you can see how well that's covering. Very easy, nice even strokes up and down the piece. And then you just smooth that out. You let that dry. And usually it can be done and dried in 15-20 minutes. Mm -hmm. If you want to accelerate that, 
process, you can use a hair dryer, lightly go over it, don't concentrate the heat in one area because it will tend to crack all the finish. So make sure you move the hair dryer around when you're drying it. But um, we'll take a short break here and come back and show you step two. And we're back with a dried piece. We've got that first coat on. So now we're going to apply the second coat. And to do that, we have a little tub of water and then also our paint. What we recommend doing, dip your brush in the paint, dip it in the water, shake off the excess, and then spread it on your piece of furniture. Nice, long, even strokes. And that water just thins the paint a little bit, spreads it easier, gives you that nice, smooth finish that you're all looking for. And again, you don't, don't put too much paint in your dish, depending on the piece that you're working on, because you don't want to put your paint back in your can because you've used a brush on it, you've put water, you've dipped it, so you've contaminated that paint. So we don't want you to ha waste any. So just, if you need to add more paint, you can add more paint to your dish as you're working on your piece, but just don't overuse it and then having to waste it. And again, you'll just let this dry out and then you're ready to finish your piece. You can see how nicely that covers in two coats. Smooths it right out, gives it a nice glassy finish. When we come back after this dries, we're going to show you how to use our top coat to finish your piece. We'll do some gentle distressing on it. Okay, we're back. Um, now that we've got our piece totally coated with two coats of American Paint Company chalk clay mineral paint. We're going to show you how to wet distress today to give it a little bit of a vintage feel on your piece of furniture. The traditional way of course is with sandpaper which you can do that but it, this wet distressing with a warm wet washcloth um, gives you a nice clean distress finish without the dust and all that. So you just take as you rub it and you can see you'll start to slowly get that paint away and then just gets down where you get just a nice little distressed on your edge of your piece. One of the biggest things you want to remember when wet distressing is make sure your washcloth is warm 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 wet water and warm wet water got that one didn't you? Uh, nice warm water wring it out real well and go over your piece. It might not start showing the under color quite as fast as you like, but as soon as that paint uh, absorbs that water, you'll notice it starts coming off real easily. See where I hit that and then you kind of go back through here and that just starts coming right off. And it's personal preference how much you want to distress if you like a light distress medium distress or a lot, depending on the look that you're seeking for your piece of furniture. And this doesn't take a whole lot of time, so as soon as you get done with that distressing and your piece is dry, then we can go on to finishing it. All set? Yep. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use our top coat. It's an all-natural, water-based top coat. It's a sealer for your piece. Uh, traditionally, uh, with all of the chalk clay mineral paints, the companies only had the waxes that they used. I mean, the American Paint Companies come out with, with the top coat. It's a quicker, easier application, uh, gives you a nice finish, and seals that piece real well. Again, you'll want to use a high quality brush. We're using just a, it's a glazing and top coating brush, and it works real well. Let's go ahead on with that, Michelle. Just dip it in, and as you'll see when you're using it, it's a very simple, easy, quick way to finish your piece of furniture. If you get any, because it's all natural and very thin, two or three coats to finish your piece, and go back around through. Make sure you don't get any drips, runs, don't overwork your piece, done. Let that sit, let it dry out, then come back through. 
and do your second coat. If you if you run your hand across your piece of furniture and there's any little fuzzies or you feel like it's just a little bit bumpy, you take a very fine piece of sandpaper, run that over real quick, and then do your second and third coats. Thanks for joining us today for this quick tip and tutorial. And again, stop in and visit theamericanpaintcompany.com for further updates and future tutorials. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye now.